Hello, in this video we're going to look at corrected mass flow. Corrected mass flow is defined as what the mass flow through an engine, say the inlet or the compressor, what that mass flow would, have, would be if we were at some reference condition, normally sea level. So what would the mass flow be going through the engine if we were at sea level? So for example, if I have an engine here, and this is the engine inlet, has a cross-section area A, oh, there will be a certain mass going through that uh, engine. So what would be the mass going through that engine if it were down here uh, at sea level? Well, to start, let's look at what the mass would be at sea level. Well, mass flow is just rho AV, where rho is the density and from the universal gas law it's just the pressure at sea level over the universal gas constant times the temperature at sea level. The velocity can be expressed in terms of its Mach number, where Mach number is the velocity uh, over the speed of sound at sea level, where the speed of sound is gamma r t0, or the square root of gamma r t0. So just rearranging this, we have uh, an expression for the velocity. So you're going to substitute these back into this equation. And we have an equation for the mass flow at sea level. Now this equation can be simply modified for any altitude. So if we go up to some altitude, instead of the pressure at sea level, it would be the pressure at the altitude. Instead of the temperature at sea level, it would be the temperature at the altitude. Hence, the mass flow at the altitude h will be, will be this equation here. So let's define uh, two terms. So it's the ratio of the pressure at the altitude over the pressure at sea level, and theta is the temperature at the altitude over the temperature at, at sea level. And we're just going to rearrange those then to get a value for the pressure at the altitude. So it's delta times P0, and TH just becomes theta times T0. So we're going to take those two values, and we're going to substitute them in here. And that's what we get. So instead of pH, we get delta P0. Instead of TH, we get T to T0. Okay, these two places. Okay, so that was our mass flow at our altitude, and this was our mass flow at sea level. And we can see there's some similarities. We have a P0, P0, we have a T0, a T0, there and there. So let's strip the delta and theta out to one side. Okay, so this equation now becomes this guy. And we can see that this is essentially the mass flow at sea level. So I want to rearrange that. Um, so I want the mass flow at sea level to be on one side. So there it is there. And I know that the square root of theta into theta goes square root of theta times. So our mass flow at sea level is really our mass flow at the altitude multiplied by this correction factor. So this is the corrected mass flow. So you just multiply this value by this fraction here and we get the corrected mass flow. So the corrected mass flow factor is square root of theta over delta. I hope you found that useful.